flat track factory. Today, I'm going to introduce a new series that I'll have multiple people on board to answer a question that I get very often in the comments. Apparently, unbeknownst to me, I say such and such bike was unrideable, and people wonder what that means. So I'm going to bring in various racing industry insiders and experts to explain when I come in whinging about a bike being unrideable, what does that mean? Today, I've got Mike O'Neill here to answer for our first video in the series. Mike, tell us about your racing experience. Well, I've been racing for 20 years now. Um, I do have a national championship just on the amateur level. I'm not going to compare myself to Scotty Parker or anyone like that. But um, I, I also have a different background in that I'm an engineer. I have my master's degree in mechanical engineering, and by trade, I am a race car engineer. Awesome. Well, I think you're uh, preeminently qualified to answer this question. So, when I come in and we're at the racetrack and I'm hot and sweaty and frustrated and, uh, and I'm just totally off out in the weeds, I'll pull my helmet off and I'll say, this pooch is unrideable. Can you explain what that means when a rider's complaining like that? I, I think the key word you had in there was the word frustrated. The rider hasn't come in and said, you know, I'm having trouble getting the front end to grip coming in or, or just don't have any bite leaving. It, when the rider says, I just find it unrideable, they're having problems with it, I think, and they're not really sure exactly what it is at that point. And I think a lot of times we have to question the rider and break it down to, is it really the bike? Is it the way it's being ridden? Because, you know, this could be a different track, different conditions, and it may just need a little adapting to how it's gonna handle around, to make it handle properly around that track. But I always ride perfectly, so it's never my fault. It's always the bike's fault. It's, a, yeah, 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 that could be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, you know, I, I came up from a little different background. Your bikes are more adjustable than mine were. I don't have much that I can adjust on a bike. You know, I can slide the forks up and down. Mm -hmm. I can move the axle front and back, but I can't change damping. I can't Ride change. Ride heights and all that stuff. Not much. Yeah. So therefore, I, you know, I had the force to look back at myself and say, okay, what can I do differently? You know, we, we have the ability, unlike in race cars, we can move our center of gravity quite a bit forward, back. Uh, and I always go back to the traction circle of the tires, looking at how much grip is available at each end. And the traction circle is an old concept used in race car design. You know, how can I, if the, back, if the front end isn't grabbing, how can I make that traction circle bigger on the front end? I think, some, I think uh, Skip like Barber used to call it a uh, friction circle. So maybe you've heard of that. Yes, and it it's, it's depends on if you're including the weight in there or not. It's, there's okay. different ways of looking or, at or, it. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I was at, at his school. So, uh, people have been confused. You know, we, we have uh, uh, many newer viewers uh, or many newer racers who are viewers. And when I say the bike is unrideable, don't, I mean, I'm, does that mean the bike won't go around the racetrack? Like there's like fall over or what is? It means it's about three tenths of a second slower than you think it ought to be. Okay, and that's a pretty small proportion. Right. You'd, you'd probably still beat me around the racetrack, but you're you're, you're going to have a tough time against some of the other top pros out there. Okay, so. When I say unrideable, I'm being I'm being extra. I'm being dramatic. Yes, a little yeah. facetious there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope this is interesting to you, um, uh, viewers. If uh, you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them down below and watch for more videos from preeminent racing experts like Mike. Uh, thanks for answering this question. You're welcome. Thanks for watching.